everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. I have some general tips for you today for when you're using vinegar, so give these a try. You can use vinegar to brighten the flavor of foods and especially fatty foods. It does help to counterbalance that in the richness of fatty foods and to brighten the flavor of other foods. So just add a little bit of vinegar along the way, not enough to make it taste sour, but just enough to balance out the flavors. A lot of times vinegars are added to marinades. This is because the acid that's in the vinegar will help to tenderize the proteins in meats and poultries. So go right ahead and feel free to add some vinegar to your dish if you want to tenderize your meat and poultry. We use vinegar when we're pickling foods because it not only adds flavor, but it also acts as an antibacterial agent. So this is important, especially with pickles, because we want to uh, preserve them and not allow bacteria to grow in them. You can add a little bit of vinegar to water when you're cooking vegetables, especially the cruciferous vegetables. That'll help to brighten up the color of them, especially like red cabbage for sure. It'll help to keep that color from bleeding and it will help to brighten those colors as well. Cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, all those benefit from just a little bit of vinegar being added to the cooking water. Some resources say that if you add a little bit of vinegar to water when you're boiling eggs, it will make the eggs easier to peel. Give that a try sometime and let me know if it works for you. Some resources also say to add a little bit of vinegar to water when you're poaching eggs because that will help to keep them together and whole rather than spreading all out in that cooking water. Try that sometime too. Let me know if that works for you. If you need some buttermilk and you don't have any on hand, you can take one tablespoon of vinegar and add it to about a cup of milk. Let it sit for a few minutes and that vinegar will thicken that milk a little bit and it will also give it a little bit of an acidic flavor, a little tartness to it. So you'll have some substitute buttermilk that is easily usable for buttermilk in any shape or form. Give that a try. Now if you want to perk up, the flavor of cooked beans or a bean soup, you can add a little bit of vinegar to it. But make sure that you add that vinegar toward the last five minutes or so of cooking. If you add it too early while the beans are not fully cooked, it will make the beans tough and make it hard to get them really cooked. So you don't want to add that early on. Add it toward the end of your cooking time and it will brighten the flavor for you. Now, how to store vinegar. Some people want to know if vinegar needs to be stored in the refrigerator. Actually, it does not need to be stored in the refrigerator, but for best quality, you want to make sure that that cap is placed tightly on there and always store it with the cap on there. Store it in a cool, dry, dark place away from sunlight and away from heat. And like that, the vinegar should keep for you for a very, very long time. Now to satisfy some of our food regulations, a lot of vinegars will have a best buy date stamped on them. Even if your vinegar goes beyond that best buy date, you will find that it's, it's still very safe to eat. The quality of the flavor may not be as good as it was when you first opened it, but it is still definitely safe to eat. So you don't really need to worry about that. Now, some vinegars, particularly unpasteurized raw vinegar like apple cider vinegar, may become more cloudy with age. That is really nothing to worry about. It's simply the culture or the bacteria that's in there multiplying in the bottle. It's definitely safe to use. It will not affect the flavor of it. If you don't like it becoming cloudy and sometimes it might thicken up some, use a fine mesh strainer of some sort when you go to use your vinegar and just pour it through the strainer and that will get some of that out of there. Generally speaking, unopened vinegar will keep for about two years in a cool, dry, dark place. Once it's open, you might want to use it within about six months. However, if you have it beyond that time frame, it's still safe to eat. It's just the quality of the flavor may have uh, 
gone down some to some degree, but it's still certainly safe to use. If you've got an expensive vinegar, like a really true expensive balsamic vinegar, and you opened it up and you may not use it quickly, you can store it in the refrigerator if you feel better doing that. You don't have to, but you can do that. Well, let me know if you have any tips uh, that you want to share with others about vinegars. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. I hope this helps. Bye for now.